Okay, we got a nice... Whoa, 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 what the heck? Okay, didn't expect that. <laughs> oh my god, what a drop-off. What is up guys, Dre here, and today we're going to be getting down and dirty with Spin Tires Mud Runner. And man, am I excited for this because this, if you don't know, this was a game I used to play on the channel all the time. Spin Tires, the original that is, I actually beat the full game. I am so excited for this one. In my opinion, this is the best co-op game out there. It's so unique and so interesting. Now before we get too deep in this video, I do want to let you guys know that this is a sponsored video. Focus Home was nice enough to support the channel and sponsor this first episode of the Spin Tires game. Also, I'll be doing a giveaway for this. Link will be in the description if you are curious. Now let's get into this today. What I'm thinking we're going to do is start off with a tutorial to just to check out the new changes in the game. We might try this new challenge mode and hopefully we'll have time to do a little bit of single player as well. Multiplayer we can't really do because, well, the game's not released yet. By the way, now it reminds me, the game's going to be released on PC, PS4, and Xbox on the 31st of October. Again, all the links will be in the description if you are curious about this game. So, let's start off with the tutorial today. It's been a while since I've been out in the Russian mud, so I'm excited. And, uh, yeah, let's see what the changes have been. So this will show us the basic game concepts. First of all, let's have a look around. Tilt the right thumb to move the camera. So I am using a controller right now. You have the option to either use a controller or a keyboard. I thought it'd be fun to use the controller since I don't use it too much. All right, release the parking brake. And let's move on with this very awesome... Is this the UAZ? I believe this is the UAZ. A very awesome little Jeep here. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we're just going to kind of learn about the game. Now, if you haven't seen this game before, its major selling point is the mud. Hence, Spin Tires Mud Runner. You have approached the muddy road, engage all-wheel drive, and diff lock. All right, well, that's something I can do. And then A for all-wheel drive. So you can disengage or re-engage your systems. Can we actually... Oh, no, I can't change my camera right now. But going back to what I was talking about, the mud physics in this game are way better than any other game I've ever seen. There's actually a really good description on how they did this mud physics. I'll link you guys to that if you are curious because it really is impressive the amount of mud in here. I mean, there's rocks inside the mud that sometimes you hit and of course there's water as well. All right, it looks like we gotta go to this B-103 and uh, change to it probably. In Mud Runner, you can switch between trucks that you have unlocked. Okay, drive closer to the truck. All right, so we got to get in here. He honks on me, so... Oh, do I have to go a little bit further? I might have to be really close to change. Now, let's switch the truck to do so. Enter advance mode, and then use the, ta the change truck option. All right, so we're going to go to advance and change truck. Oh, my God, that is so much easier than last time. So, they did do a lot of updating with the UI in this game, as well as the controls. I know there's a new map as well, so we're going to be able to check that out later on. But yeah, if you are curious of the new updates, it's mostly to do with a new huge map as well as just making the game more user-friendly because it wasn't the most user-friendly game. Each truck in Mud Runner is equipped with a winch that you can attach to nearby trees. Let's use quick winch mode. This is a new thing as well to pull ourselves over the hill. All right, so before you had to fumble with the winch, it was my biggest complaint with this game. Now it's a quick winch, so it actually just kind of looks for something that you can attach to, and it will automatically attach to it when you press the button. So there we go. Winch is now connected, and I can simply pull myself, as well as accelerate a bit, up this uh, small incline that we got going on here. Oh, this is so nice. I'm so excited to get into the single-player mode. All right, but now that that helped us out, let's release the winch, and uh, yeah, looks like we got a garage in the distance over here. And here we are at the garage. Now it's locked. Do we get to unlock it? You've arrived at the garage where you can install add-ons and trailers. Your truck can also be rescued and brought back to the garage if you're playing casual mode. All right. To access the garage, you must first unlock it. Access it by delivering four garage points. So garage points are something in this game that I'll explain later. Somebody's already delivered three points to this garage. And because your truck has one point, you can unlock it. So you can get an attachments that unlock garage points. Basically, garages are used 
like they said, to restock yourself, change yourself, change your trailer, things like that. They're very useful. And we're done! Your truck gets fully repaired when you visit an unlocked garage, but gets refueled for only 200 liters. So yeah, fuel is something that you gotta be careful of in this game. The aim of the game is to deliver logs to the lumber mill, so now let's install an add-on that carries logs. So yes, this game, I didn't really explain that, but this is a log transferring game. All right, but it wants a log carriage, so let's do that. We got a small guy here, so this is gonna be probably pretty easy, hence it being a tutorial. Uh, release the parking brake. Okay, it was automatically put on without my knowledge, but uh, that's okay. So it looks like we just gotta go. Well, it looks like the logs are right over here. So usually it's not this easy. It's a couple miles away through very thick woods. But for the sake of the tutorial, obviously, that's really not going to uh, work. Now here you can load up your truck Different log types deal yield different amounts of load points. Our current truck can only be loaded with short logs, hence the short trailer. Oh, that's so cool. Now you can choose your different log sizes. I don't think you could do this before. Each trailer was just attached to a certain log type. All right, so we're gonna, I think you gotta hold it. Yeah, you gotta hold it, and then we got some logs. Now let's proceed to our final destination, the lumber mill. Onward and upwards, we're going to, oh my god, it's already, I'm all squirrely, oh, maybe I should not go in the puddle, maybe I should not stop in the puddle either, that would not be smart. So my one complaint with this game, I still don't really like the camera. I understand why they do it though, I mean, you have to look around your truck a lot to see different trees and whatnot, so you need this kind of wide angle, but it's very hard to drive with, so I'm gonna be excited when I can use the other camera angles, because right now, the tutorial's not letting me, so we gotta deal with this mode. All right, but as you can see as we move, uh, this game is quite simulation heavy. Uh, you can see different parts of the vehicle moving on its own. The logs also are mostly separated, so they can be very top heavy and fall off. And obviously the mud is just fantastic. Looks like we got some hard rock music going on over here. I don't know who's playing rock out in the woods, but I like it. It's now time to unload our truck, but remember, this would only be two out of eight load points total required to fill up the lumber mill in a real game. So yes, you have to take multiple trips in a real game. All right, so we'll unload that. Oh, there we go. I have finished the tutorial. The tutorial didn't cover everything in the game, so, so attend challenges to learn more. And I think we'll do that next. So let's go on to the challenge mode. Uh, looks like we only have one challenge right now, so this is... Is this a totally different game mode, not attached to logs? Pick up a trailer, then drive a rig to a small town. Bonus objectives, don't damage your vehicle or other vehicles. Don't drive on the opposite <laughs> traffic lane. Use cockpit camera when driving the trailer. Oh, I'm gonna be so happy to do that. All right, so let's try that challenge. This is something totally new in the game, so this is exciting. Welcome to the challenge. All right, so what we have to do is pick up a trailer, then drive the rig to a small town. So we got, uh, well, this is a new truck. This is cool looking. At least I think it's new. I don't know. It's been so long since I played spin tires, it's hard to tell. Anyways, let's start this thing up. Take off the parking brake, and we have to keep to the right side of the road. So, this is Russia after all. They do use the right side of the road, I believe. I hope. <laughs> because I'm already wrong if uh, that's not the case. All right, we're going. This is weird going fast in spin tires. Uh, let's actually open up the navigation map. Okay, we actually have to stop. <laughs> all right, hit the brakes hard because we have to go this way. So, I didn't even notice the line on the road. But, uh, yeah, you can definitely plot your own waypoints if you want. It looks like for this challenge, it's automatically plotting it for me. So, not really sure where this trailer is, but it definitely is in the middle of nowhere. Uh, do we got diff lock on this? No, we don't. We don't have all-wheel drive either. So, I am definitely not going for that spot. Uh, I just don't have the traction to deal with it. So, let's go around this way. Keep it safe. We're definitely gonna get dirty later on, though. I wanna see how much of these trucks can take. All right, and we made it. Looks like our trailer is right there. Position your truck properly, attach the trailer, reverse towards the trailer. Uh, wouldn't wanna go in forwards, that's for sure. All right, got some bushes. I love that. I, I actually got bush stuck in my uh, wheel right now, and you can see all the dirt on my wheels. Those particles will fall off over time. Stuff like that is why this game is so exciting. All right, so let's just slow and steady. Get inside. Oh, we gotta go to advanced mode, and it says change truck, attach winch. I mean, no, I don't, I don't, well, I mean, I guess I could do it that way. I don't think that's the case, though. All right, I'm just gonna use my mouse and tell it to attach itself. So that worked. I don't know how to do that with the gamepad, but uh, we got her attached. 
So now use the navigation map to locate your next destination. All right, so here is the map. It's actually kind of like a 3D map. I really like it. Uh, where we have to go is right inside here. So just following the roads, going down this way, the map's cut off. So we gotta go right to this road. And I don't know if this is an overpass or not. I hope it isn't, or I'm gonna have to go through these woods here. All right, so let's begin by routing our path. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect, but we are going to see the line on the ground, so it definitely is useful to have a decent one. And what we want to do is go up here. I'm thinking this is an overpass, so we might need to kind of go off into the woods a little bit, but we should be okay. And you can see where we're going here. we got to go down this way all the way down to... Oh, actually, that's a cutoff right there, so we got to go around... Just like this. And taking the time to do the map now is probably smart because we're going to be easily lost when we uh, actually get out into the woods and see what it looks like. But there's our destination. We have routed it all the way there, so we should be good. And let's get out of here and start doing this. So you can see my path going through the house right now. The starting of it wasn't perfect, but if we can get off this muddy road, we should be fine because this is going to be the hardest part, especially with all this weight and no differential. All right, we're going to play it safe again. Is the first person... Oh, my God. This was never... In... I don't think first person was in spin tires. I probably would have remembered it if that's the case. This is amazing looking. Unfortunately, you don't get to experience the mud in this, though, so I don't think we'll use it all the time. But I definitely do want to try some first person here. Now, uh, yeah, let's let's go back out right now. Ooh, ooh gear stick. Uh oh Oh, I just went in the manual. All right, I put it back in the automatic. It looks like we're good to go, so let's not use that again. Our load, I mean, it's a little bit top-heavy, but I've been really sideways in this game before, so it's definitely not bad right now. And we have made it to Tarmac, so it should be easy coasting from here, assuming I don't got anything crazy coming up over here. All right, now we can enjoy some first-person view in this old Russian truck. This thing's pretty cool. Okay, so that wasn't an overpass. I did worry about that. Oh, man, this thing. Okay, it's got a really wide steering angle. Takes a little bit to get used to, but I'm trying to obey the uh, sub-challenges. I think I already went to the wrong side of the road, though, so I don't know if I'll be able to get really any of those, but we're doing our best. <laughs> I love how rocky this is. This would be a great VR game. Oh, why is it not a VR game? Something about driving in the mud in VR would just be amazing. Can I stick my head out the window? No, I can't. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I think, yes, this is the road we have to turn down. So let's just take that turn a little bit slower. Not too bad that time. And look at beautiful Russia. We've made it to the town. All right, very gloomy over here. This whole game has this kind of very gloomy art style. I actually really like it. Ah. Uh, Okay, so I thought, wait, how are we going to get in here? Because if where are we right now? Oh, I'm still far away. I, okay, I, I just plotted my point a little bit wrong. So let's just pull this back and get back out to the road. I didn't notice it was going down this way. We still got a little bit of ways to go. Yes, and then down this road. Oh, looks like we got, okay, so this is the point where I can't damage the other cars. I'm going to try this in first person. I mean, this is threading the needle quite literally, so let's just take our time, slow and steady. I'm not good at doing this, by the way. Even in real life, I've gotten so close to so many cars, it's crazy. All right, I'm actually curious. Let's see how crazy this is, because I just really want to see. All right, so it gave us a little bit of room. Not not as bad as I thought. We actually are easily going to get through this, so let's go. Oh, I keep hitting select. Uh, so, let, yeah, let's go back to first person, and... I don't think I hit anything. Hard to tell, though. All right, got another UAZ here. Just got to avoid that. I think there's a tree to my other side, too. Are we here? I think this is where we need to... Okay, no, we do need to go down this way. All right, so yeah, that is definitely the point down there. I think we did pretty good. I don't know if we did the side challenges, but we definitely did the main challenge, and that's the important one, so I'll take it. All right, slow and steady through this mud, though. There's definitely no rushing in spin tire because it's impossible to rush. All right, reverse the truck so that... Oh, God. Really? You're going to make me do this in first person? I don't think I can do this in first person, guys. All right, we're just going to... Oh, sorry about your tree there. I didn't mean to do that. Let's just... Uh, my trailer is way sideways. I know that. Problem is, I can't even use my mirrors because they're not real mirrors. So how am I supposed to do this in first person with no visual at all? All right, I'm going to try and straighten out my trailer just by 
you know, taking out some of Mother Nature with me. All right, now we just need to uh, back it in. That's going to be... Oh, I really wish I could look out the back window at least. I This is as far as I can move my head. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't even see the, the position that I need. Uh, at this point, I have no idea where my trailer is and if I'm doing it right or not. Okay, I, I can't handle it. We got to... <laughs> I thought I was at least somewhat straight. <laughs> That's a damn right angle. What the heck did I do there? Okay, well, that is not going to ever work out. We're just going to accept that we're not going to get the bonus and slowly back this in. Mind you, if I would have straightened it out, if I would have knew that, if I would have had a mirror, I think we would have been able to do it. All right, so just slow and steady. We need to keep this nice and straight. Keep the front wheel straight. Hard to do in the mud, by the way. Backing up a trailer in mud Man, it is not easy, but as long as we don't do anything crazy with our wheels, I wish I could see the front wheel right now. All right, let's just straighten her out a bit. Let's do this right and do it perfectly. So nice and slow, back up, straighten it out. There we go. And we just got to lean the trailer a little bit this way. Looking good. Oh, check out that mud, though. Look at how deep my tires are in mud. I mean, look at my back tires. They look like... I don't even know what they look like, like dirty clouds. So there we go. We position the trailer and uh, let's detach the trailer. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's not safe, but you know what? Only in Russia, my friends, only in Russia. See you later, trailer. Another successful job, well done. Is that it? Did I do it? All right, don't damage your vehicle or any other vehicle. That's the only one I wanted to do anyways. Man, that would be impossible with cockpit camera. Not driving in the opposite traffic lane would definitely be possible, but I drive like a drunken Russian. And you know what? It's fitting. So let's go back to the main menu and check out the real single player now. So this game plays pretty interesting. Basically, you choose a map and then you have to do that map. Now, maps generally take hours to complete, so we're definitely not going to be able to complete one today. But we'll be able to check out the new, you know, updates to it and uh, see how it is. So I'm thinking... Well, first of all, let's see the new map. So we got Island. Complete to earn an additional progression point. Okay, and then we have uh, these ones that are unlocked. Now, if I remember correctly, I think we had Island, the bog. Uh, the, where's the river? The river was my favorite map. Maybe they changed the name of it. Could be called Seashore now. I don't know. Let's start out with the bog, though. That sounds pretty fun. And the map looks pretty muddy. So I'm just going to go with the suggested ones. How do we do this, though? So you can... Oh, I like that. You couldn't do this before, but you can totally choose what trucks you want. We got a B131, a C375, and an A469. So yeah, they definitely changed the truck names as well. Uh, there's just a lot of interesting updates to this. You can see the different trucks that we have down here, though. Quite a few different ones. That's a new one. Some sort of big tractor thing. Uh, so some of these ones I do remember, especially this one. This thing's a beast. All right, but I think we're going to do the suggested because that should work out pretty well. All right, let's do a new casual game. Actually, what's the difference between casual and hardcore? Can recover in unlocked garages. Damaging the truck doesn't change its parameters. Fuel consumption is lower than in hardcore. Can skip nighttime, which is very nice. Navigation route is visible in game. Okay, so for right now, we might move on to hardcore one day, but it's been a while, guys. So bear with me here. Let's do some casual. This is not a easy game. I'll tell you that much. And welcome, guys. So we got our two trucks here. What we got to do is, first of all, is the map all... Oh, oh, okay. They do have a fog of war still. So basically, this part of the map is invisible until you get these watch points. So for today, I think we're just going to, you know, have a little adventure. Unlock all these watch points and get us in a good position to actually do the mission in the next episode. If you guys enjoy this, of course. So what we got right here is three different vehicles. I'm going to use the little UAZ. So we're going to go to advance, we're going to change truck, and I want the A469. I gotta keep calling it the UAZ, I'm just used to that now. Install additional wheels and trailers. Actually, I'll do a spare wheel, and then we can do uh, the trunk, which is going to give us 80 liters of fuel and carries 200 repair points. You know what, I'll definitely do that. It's going to make it a little bit more top-heavy, but it's going to be worth it. Spare wheel, don't really know what that does, but, uh, oh, looks like we get some repair points. Okay. Makes sense. It's a spare wheel. All right, so let's start this engine up. Oh, yeah. There we go. And let's just go out into the wilderness. Have some fun today. Definitely want to turn diff lock on. Definitely want to turn... Oh, all wheels is already on. 
So this guy's a little guy. We might run into an issue as... Oh, the parking brake's on. I was like, why am I having such a hard time right now? That's exactly why. But, uh, yeah, the UAZ's fun in this game because it usually can't deal with some of the mud. Thankfully, it's a little light Jeep, so we should be okay. But actually, we should probably plot our route first. We don't... Actually, yeah, we're going to want to go down this way. All right, so what we're going to do first is obviously map our route. We got to go the old school way and manually map. I actually really like that about this game because uh, basically it's all you. If you screw up, it's your fault and only your fault. But uh, yeah, we're going to go down this road into the blackness. And I'm just going to put a straight thing right to the watch point. Now that should be good. At least it tells us the general direction that we need to go, which is down there. Now, I don't know if that's the right way because, well, most of the map is hidden, but uh, it's probably the best chance of being the right way. So, oh God, we're already, <laughs> we're already getting stuck and we haven't even hit a river or anything yet. That's gonna be the fun part. But if you look deep into the mud, you can see like there's broken tree sticks and everything. And when you're in the water and everything, it really affects you. Like, I just I just got way hit to the left just by those tree sticks. So, yeah, I don't actually know if this is a new map or not. I'm assuming they might have updated some of the older maps as well. It's been, Again, it's been so long since I last played that uh, it's hard to remember. A lot of spin tires is trees and mud, so they all look similar anyways. But uh, the maps in this game are just beautiful. Well thought out, too. A lot of hard and technical spots like for example it looks like we got a uh, pretty swampy area here i do want to get muddy though so let's have some fun today and uh see if we can possibly get this thing stuck hopefully not so soon but if you look too you can also see there's like wet mud on my on my uaz now i just i gotta say i love this game everything about it so you might hear me saying a lot of praise that's because I've played a lot of games, and there's not been too many that I've loved as much as Spin Tires. So, uh, it is it, it, it is a very important game to me. It's near and dear to my heart because it's just so unique. All right, but we're making our way down now. I'm actually curious to see how much of the road do we have. Actually, we've been making really good time here. So, it's going to get a little bit more difficult later on once we start having no choice but to leave the roads. But for right now, it's just an enjoyable stroll through the Russian wilderness. All right, gotta try some good old first person too. I'd love to go through a river in first person. What's down over there? Looks like a dead end. All right, so we're going, oh God. Oh my God. Okay, I almost flipped it. We're okay though. All right, having some trouble making it up this hill, but thankfully we got the four wheel drive in this little thing. So looks like we're okay. I love that it shows on the uh, little simple dashboard here too. Uh, if you can use your winch or whatnot too, so that's really cool. All right, we got big logs there. Don't want to hit that. Got one on the road here. I'm gonna ride. Oh, I thought I was gonna ride right over it. I guess I gotta go around ones of that size. I mean, it makes sense. It's basically a tree on the ground. Oh, oh, oh! Got, got stuck on something else. I think that was a boulder that time. Uh, all right, are we in? Yes, we are officially in no man's land. Not so bad so far. I expected a huge river or something to kind of throw me off but right now it's actually going pretty well definitely getting into some deeper mud though so oh this might be a little scary oh, i think we'll be okay though i mean this jeep is pretty impressive yeah no problem at all oh that's a deep hole that's a very deep hole okay trying to avoid that let's go over this way a little bit oh now we're getting into the fun stuff though so the question is do we go left or do we try and take that spot over there you know what that field looks pretty nice let's go through the field see if we can find a way through because the waypoint should be pretty close the map really isn't that big oh man i didn't even notice that this was water oh god oh i might have made a mistake thankfully let's stay close to trees we have a winch if we do need it i think as long as we keep the power on though we should be okay how deep are we though oh definitely getting some water in my engine Ooh, there's a uh, Something underneath there, some sort of log or something. All right, we're okay though. We made it through our first major puddle. Oh, dude, the game is so amazing. It's so beautiful. All right, but there is the black flag. We got one of them. I think we need to get like four or five. So we're gonna be doing a lot of, you know, traveling in the woods today. Uh, from here on though, at least we'll be able to see from the distance where we need to go. Discover or drive closer to the watch point. Oh, they now have watchtowers now, too. They used to be just be random black orbs. Didn't really make sense for the game. But that unlocked that now. So at least we know we can go down. There's a road down here. 
Uh, these watch points over here, we might have to go to this road over here, I'm thinking, to get to those ones. For right now, we're just going to go down this road. All right, plotted my path once again. I'm going to intentionally go to some of the harder spots just to kind of see some of the terrain that we can expect. Uh, right now, I got to go. I made this a little bit short, but we got to go around into that big puddle over there. I guess we could have definitely took a shortcut, but again, I want to get a little dirty today, so let's see. Oh, man, that's a... Uh, we should be okay, but... You never know. Dangerous water level. That's not good. I think we should be just fine, though. We, we got out of it rather quickly. All right. And we got some, uh, whoa, some good road here. I'm going so fast that I'm already kind of spitting out. But this is, this is what I wanted to go in. We're definitely going to try and do this. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of a puddle here. I mean, it's hardly a puddle. It's more of a pond at this point. But if we stay to the sides, if we do get stuck and get dangerous... We can be winched out. I did want to check out some of the water physics, though, because they are pretty damn good. Oh. Uh-oh. I think I hit something underneath the water here. All right. Get my front tire over it. There we go. We did it. And I think we got over the back as well. Yeah, there's definitely some sticks in there or something. Uh, the, the bottom of the ground is not working well with me. There we go. And we definitely got some rocks over here. You can see the uh, terrain around it. Lots of big boulders. So ooh, maybe we should... Uh, thinking this part part might be a little bit too difficult especially considering there's hidden boulders everywhere but you know what i'm gonna go for it as long as we don't go too close to the middle we should be okay oh dude it's doing great this uaz is mvp and that wasn't too bad actually we made it through there without much issues at all we haven't even got really that stuck yet mind you this is a light car so the, the chances are ooh, actually this looks really really muddy down here but the chances of getting stuck in something this light is very slim let's actually stick to some of the safe whoa 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 oh that was way too close i shouldn't have got so close to that rut because we are definitely in it let's just uh go slow here we don't want to try and rush out of it too because that will definitely flip me so we're just gonna kind of chill sideways here let's go into the view actually it doesn't even look that bad in the view but we're kind of oh god oh i'm getting scared Okay, yeah. I definitely don't like not seeing the tires. I, I didn't think it would be that difficult, but it definitely is way more difficult when you... Whoa. Can't see the tires. Uh... Okay, this is this does... Oh my god, it's actually... Is it flexing? I think it flexed a little bit, guys. So, I'm wondering if some of the bigger vehicles can possibly break that. That would be amazing if that's the case. So I think we should be at this point. Yeah, we're back in the blackness. We don't know what's ahead, so we're just going to keep going forward. Rather nice road down here, actually. Aside from a few tree branches on it, this one uh, it actually has widened out quite a bit, as you can see. And uh, really haven't had too much of a problem here. We are getting into some soggy stuff, but that hasn't stopped me yet. It's not going to stop me now. And there is the flag right there. So let's go get that. And I think we got one or two more to do, so not too bad. Let's actually see. Uh, we might actually have three. No, we have two more. That's right. So what I'm thinking now, do we have any uh, roads going into here? It doesn't actually look like there's too much roads. I'm actually seeing possibly... Let's try this. All right, so my best bet, I'm thinking, because there's no connector roads that I can see. I mean, well, that might be... That's, not, that's definitely not a road, so... There's not much of a choice in here. I'm thinking what we're going to have to do is go through this puddle and go to this opening and hope that there's something in there that we can deal with. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly plot a route down to there so we don't get lost. And then we're just going to kind of go through here and see what we can find down there. Because the watch point's rather close, but uh, there could be a whole mountain in the way for all we know. All right, and as we're traveling back to something that we already were on, let's try something just for fun. Let's turn off diff lock and all wheels and see how impossible this is once <laughs> we don't have all wheel drive and diff lock on. You can see I'm just spinning my back wheels. I mean, it's definitely possible. Some of the vehicles in this game don't have diff lock or all wheel drive, so you just gotta hope for the best. And those are probably some of the funnest vehicles too. Ones where you can't rely on systems to get yourself out of the mud. But you can see the difference. I mean, we're already basically to a stop right now. So let's put those back on and push out of this a little bit. It's actually, because I dug myself down so much, spinning my wheels, 
I'm actually having a hard time getting out. There we go. We cracked the mud surface, and now we're back out on the good stuff. All right, so what we got to do... Oh, man, I didn't realize it was the bridge part. Uh, what would be the best way to safely get down here? Okay, there is a little bit of a beach, it looks like, over there in the distance. So what I'm going to do... Oh, my God, this camera. Why am I so far away? I want to come back. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to go through right here. This should... Yeah, we should have no problem at all. Let's actually go to first person. This might be useful here. Because I always hit trees. Uh, yeah, you know what? It's not too bad over here. Slow and steady. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall! I'm getting scared. I don't know how high I am. It's hard to tell. Oh, that wasn't too bad at all, though. Look at that! First person does have its uses. Okay, so we are officially in darkness. The question is, which way do we go? The flag is that way. There is some openings over. You know what? It's looking like it might actually be open over here. So I'm gunning on the fact that this is a good trail. And it's going to turn hard to the right, please. Oh, yeah. I, th I think I chose right, guys. I can actually see it in the distance over there. Oh, this is wide open. You know what? We can actually turn off diff lock right now. Conserve some of our feel. Oh, God. Oh, I took some damage. Okay, maybe I should not, you know pedal to the metal down this, but it's so fun. Look at how... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the guy in there bouncing around. I never even noticed that. He... Oh. That character animation's pretty impressive, actually. All right, so let's get to this thing. It looks like we got a huge pond over on this side. Uh, ooh, that's a little scary, actually. It looks like we are in some quicksand right now, guys. Oh, I thought this was a nice field, all friendly and whatnot, but no, we got stuck right inside it. That's the thing. You, ne you never know when the mud comes. Sometimes it's in a field. Sometimes it's completely obvious. All right, diff lock back on since we're having a little bit of issues here. And we have unlocked the other one. So all we got now is this final one, which is way down here. I'm thinking, you know, this place is so open right now. It's probably going to stay open if we go down around here. And it's really not that far away, so let's try that. Oh, uh, is this field gonna be the death of me? This field looks so nice. And then it does something like this. Like, look at this. This whole ground is just moving. I think we should be okay, because there's some rocks over here. I should be able to get some grip on those at least. Or they're gonna get me stuck. That could be a, a possibility as well. You know what, let's actually avoid those a little bit because I don't want to get one stuck underneath me. You can see me bouncing around a little bit. Man, that was deceptively dangerous. Okay, so we got through that. The ground's a little bit better now, but I'm a little worried when we get past these rocks over here. Oh, Jesus, these rocks. Dangerous. But this ground over here looks really too nice to be not nice at all. So let's just stay... You always want to stay by trees, mind you. Actually, this ground's great. Okay, so this is the good stuff here. Famous last words. Oh, I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have went that way. We j <laughs> I just splatted myself right into the mud. It's uh, not too bad, though, so we're okay. And somehow we got to get through these woods. I'm thinking, yeah, there's definitely an entrance in over here. I hope. How far are we, actually? Okay, so we're just getting into darkness now. We do have quite a ways to go. But yeah, there's an opening over here, so I'm gonna go this way, because going through the woods is of last resort. Trying to deal with the mud and trees is never fun. Actually, uh, that road might lead us somewhere, so let's go down a road. We can always retrace our steps if we need to, but it looks like this is bending to the left a little bit. So we've been really lucky with these points. In the past in this game, I've had to, you know, go up mountains and everything just to get to them. It looks like the first map is rather nice to you, which is nice to see. Oh, it looks like it's actually turning nighttime as well. That's gonna be fun dealing with the night. Now, in casual mode, you can turn the night off. We might do that. I don't know, depending on how hard it is. It's looking like this is actually gonna lead me back out. Somewhere in the middle of that forest. I knew it. I jinxed it. I shouldn't have said it's been as a bed bad yet. We still have one more to do, so I'm gonna... Oh, man. I'm gonna go through here. You know, you know what? No, I think it's better off to go back and retrace our steps. All right, you know what? I'm going to go and try it here. We're going to go right through the woods. I don't recommend you do this, but sometimes you just have no choice. And now that we have first person, this actually isn't that bad. This is very fun, by the way. Okay, we got a nice... Whoa, 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 what the heck? Okay, didn't expect that. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, what a drop off! Okay. Well, we made it to the log station at least. Unfortunately, this isn't even where we need to go, so how far away is it? Uh, we actually still have quite a ways to go, but it looks like maybe over there might be the case. All right, you know what? Just for your uh, viewing pleasure, I know people don't like watching at night. We're just going to skip to daytime just to be able to see. Helps me out a little bit as well. All right, but let's get going. <laughs> I have a tree stuck underneath me right now. I don't know if you can notice that, but that is a legit tree. Just kind of dragging underneath my uh, frame here, so that's just great. All right, tree, if you want to go on an adventure, you go- Oh, never mind, it just vanished. <laughs> I guess you're not going on an adventure with me. Okay, where do I think this leads? It's actually really hard to tell. We do have to take a hard left and go that way. Oh, I can actually see the flag. It's- thank god it's huge. Whoa, am I stuck? Uh-oh. I think I just got stuck out of a rock, so no big deal. Let's just, uh, oh yeah, this is definitely- Rock Haven here. What was that? I swear I just heard a noise. But yeah, let's go to fur. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this is way too thick. Looks like there might be a way to get through over here if we can knock down some of these little trees. Oh my god. Oh, this is a hill. This is a hill. I'm trying to turn. I'm doing my best. Yes! Push it down! Get through! We did it! We <laughs> explored the bog. Jesus! Okay, tis but a scratch. And with that... I think, yes, we have unlocked the whole map. So that is task one of successfully delivering logs. Now we get to the fun part of actually getting the logs and taking them to the lumber mill. So to do that, we'd have to go all the way to this log station that we just found and go to this lumber mill. Is there two lumber mills on here or one? Uh, looks like there's a bunch of law unlocks over here. Yeah, there's actually just one lumber mill. So this one actually shouldn't be too bad. We'd have to do four trips to uh, get all the logs that we need back and forth from here to there. Now, there is another lumber mill up, or actually a log station up here as well. So we have options, but I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Once again, this is Spin Tires Mud Runner. It's going to be available on Xbox One, PC, and PS4 on October 31st. I hope you guys enjoyed this, because I do plan on doing a bunch more content on this, if you guys enjoy it, of course. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see some multiplayer Give me some suggestions on who you want me to play with, because I always love your input, guys. So, as always, guys, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.